starts for today at its half year results. So starting off on the earnings front, the earnings per share decreased by 35%. So this was mainly due to the lower petrochemical prices that we're seeing at the moment. The lower dollar oil price, that was about 10% lower on average for them, uh, that would have further contributed combined with the higher cash fixed costs. They also mentioned the dividend policy change um, that they're considering at the moment, which they'll announce more details at year end. But basically the guidance for the moment being that they're switching from an earnings based to a cash flow based type of policy. We think this could add gearing to the dividends as the main discrepancy that they noted is due to the depreciation versus uh, the capex expenditure where the capex expenditure is higher um, and seeing this as a, a type of fixed uh, cost therefore it would add gearing um, both to the downside and upside going forward. We also just like to note that uh, they are currently at the higher end of their um, policy for the, the amount of debt that they would like to hold. Um, so we, we foresee that there could be some potential reduction in debt going forward. We have a buy recommendation on Sasol. Uh, the, the price has been trading uh, quite significantly lower recently and we believe this due to the long term uncertainty that it has as it uh, um, undergoes this transition and the market's not sure how um, the SASO of tomorrow by let's say 2030 will look and the relevant margins that it would have. So we see a, a large disconnect between the valuation multiples um, that you would have historically seen when you compare it to its own earnings, uh, to peers, and also to the relevant commodity prices. This further showing that there's this disconnect that the market is not so much concerned about the current um, uh, near term period uh, earnings, but rather so uh, in the future. We, however, believe that at the current levels, there's an, um, sufficient near term earnings to justify this price and the market currently pricing in a bear case type of scenario and any potential uh, positive developments uh, could add significant upside. That doesn't go without saying Sasol is a higher risk uh, commodity type of company. So it is exposed to uh, operational commodity risk that you usually have with commodity companies. However, it's also um, as this uh, increased uh, ESG and regulations uh, concern and risk. And uh, our main concern would be currently around the um, potential unequal uneconomic uh, capital investments that they could make as they transition.